Let the notes sustain. We are live at the Edge of 228, Young. And today the band whose influence over music over the last decade goes into all the bands we play at this station. They are truly, truly one of the most creative bands that we've had, and it's always a pleasure when they're back in our shores and are so gracious with their time. Please welcome Dougie Payne and Fran Healy from Travis. Great to see you here, and uh, the record we hold in our hand. Now, the boy who, well, now he's the boy with no name. So yeah. is, is the story that, 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 uh, that I heard true, that the boy, it was your boy with no name? Well, it kind of started off loosely kind of like that, and it was, on a, it was a title of an email I sent to a friend when we didn't have a name for our son. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I found this email months later, and I thought, God, that's a cool title. And we didn't have a title for the album, so it just became the working title, and then it stuck. And what was your boy? And what did you end up naming your boy? Clay. Clay. So mm-hmm. there you go. So, re- so really, when uh, when this comes out with bonus tracks or the redo, it should be called Clay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, there exactly. you go. There yeah. you go. Well, so let's talk about the record be, and, and and the people behind it, like Nigel again behind it. There he is. There, yeah, sitting yeah, up there, yeah, and he's little. Pleasure. Little, oh, pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to talk about we got to talk about the back records too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, but the, the, the inclusion of Brian Eno because the, when when I first heard the record, it had it, I don't know it, it had the same. Well, well, you know, I got to say the Brian Eno thing. I mean, he, he came in. And we 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 were looking who who do we work with? Right. We worked with Nigel. We worked with uh, Mike Hedges. We worked with Steve Lillywhite. We worked with some great producers. Who else could we work with? And, and Brian's name came up. We got in touch with him with a view to him maybe doing the record. Right. And it ended up at the end of that session. Because of the way we were working, it just was like, it really solidified what we actually had to do, which was sit in a room and just write a song. Instead of doing that, we tried doing jamming sessions, and uh, they, were, they were interesting, and Brian's excellent. He, he was very inspiring. We lived out our Bowie fantasies, you know, with the, uh, what do you call it, the... Oblique strategies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, all that. and it was great, it was great fun, but it definitely showed us what we... Are, or reminded us of what we are, and so Brian in a way kind of started the like started the whole process. But we kind of went on and did it ourselves, and with Nigel and Mike. You were a part of the 40th anniversary of Sergeant Pepper. Yes, um, I had the the Kaiser Chiefs in here. Now they said they did uh, uh, getting better. Uh, that was their track. Got the mm-hmm. Minsky, all the, uh, you did lovely read a meter made. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, so how did it turn out? It turned out really well. Actually, it was great fun. We kind of we had, we had a really good day. We just kind of. Turned up and you know Jeff Emmerich, the original engineer, that, was yeah. was in charge and we were doing it on the uh, on the original, Abbey Road right. on the original four track desk. We actually didn't end up doing it at Abbey Road. Oh, okay. We did it at British Grove. Okay. Which a few of the bands did it, but um, yeah, it was the original four track desk. So it was great and it was really nice to to try and emulate them the Beatles exactly. You know because. Uh, it was quite. It's quite a challenge. In the greatest of ironies, did any of you come out and have a parking ticket on your car when you left that? Or? No, no. <laughs> my mum came along to the to the recording session, and her name is Rita. Oh, so there you go. Lovely <laughs> Rita. Lovely <laughs> Rita. Um, it is always great to see you. Let's hope it's not so long between visits next time. Thanks to Dougie and Fran and Nigel, great. Travis. Great.